Seasons were extended or ended following today's play at the 2015 National Championships, with slots for Sunday's finals booked. Dallas Kicks SC of North Texas moved on to the under-14 girls final after an exciting second half defeat against FC Pride Elite of Indiana. After a scoreless first half, FC Pride took quick control nearly a minute into the second half with a strike by Alexa Hall. However, the goal didn't affect Dallas as just two minutes later, midfielder Taylor Tufts recovered with an equalizer. The tie electrified the match and both teams worked to find the game winner. In the 52nd minute, Samantha Meza got past the last defender, rounded the keeper and slid it home to move her Dallas Kicks team to the final against Legends FC Gold of California South. Legends defeated Top Hat 19 Gold of Georgia 1-0 to move on to the under-14 girls final. Not long after the start of the second half, Legends capitalized on a corner kick, and after a shuffle in the box with the ball, Liliana Flores-Smith was able to get a touch on the ball and put Legends up 1-0. In the last two minutes of the match, Top Hat came close with two chances of their own to equalize. But Legends keeper and back line protected the net to move on to the final. Tampa Bay United 97 Premier of Florida moves on to the under-17 girls final after notching two late back-to-back -back goals against fellow National League team Carlsbad Elite of California South. After a scoreless first half, Tampa Bay forward Brianne Folds broke through and netted a 75th minute goal for the 1-0 lead. The momentum continued as forward Samantha Betters doubled Tampa Bay's score immediately afterward in the 78th minute for a 2-0 result. Tampa Bay will now face defending national champions Beach FC Academy 97 of California South for the rematch of last year's championship match. A fury of goals gave Carlsbad Elite of California South a ticket to tomorrow's under-18 girls final. Their one-sided result versus La Roca of Utah began with two goals within the first 10 minutes of play by Sydney Yates and Haley Walker Robinson. Carlsbad's dominance continued in the second half with a pair of goals by Bridget Daly in the 50th and 55th minutes, a goal by Nola Prickett in the 58th minute off a corner kick, and in the 65th minute, Sydney Yates found her second goal of the contest. The Carlsbad keeper helped her side to keep a clean sheet after she saved a penalty kick late in the game. Carlsbad will face familiar foe and defending champs DMCV Sharks Elite of California South in a rematch of last year's semifinal. Reigning back-to-back -back champs DMCV Sharks Elite of California South have booked another ticket to the championship round after a 5-1 win against KC Metro Dynamos of Kansas in the under-18 girls semifinal. From the get-go, the one thing that everyone's asked about is defending the national championship and not only defending it three times. So um, it is incredibly special, but it was one thing I really wanted to stay away from along the way, if that makes sense, that it wouldn't be such a big, momentous, we're all about defending the championship and losing focus, because this is the best in the country, we're playing the best competition, so we wanted just to go one game at a time. Now that we're here, it's thrilling that I can actually say, oh, wow, we truly are, have an opportunity to defend our national championship. DMCV midfielder Shelby Lee set the tone with a goal in the fifth minute and teammates Samantha Staub and Crystal Cordova followed with goals in the 13th and 27th minutes. Kristen Cole extended the DMCV lead with a goal in the 45th minute, and Francisca Comer got DMCV's fifth goal in the 61st minute. Brooke Prodzonski put Casey Metro on the board with a late 80th minute goal, but DMCV Sharks' vigorous first half performance was too much. The Sharks will look to defend their crown and join an elite company of three-time national champions. We wanted to enjoy this journey. I've had them since 2012. 
Um, obviously, we're, we're very close. I'm emotionally close to them. So I wanted to just make sure more than anything, I know everyone was talking about winning, but for me, it was, this is the best way we could have ended this perfect journey, to be back in the final. No matter what, we're ending tomorrow. They're going to college in two weeks. And I, that, to me, is the most important thing about this whole thing. Follow the moments from the national championships on championships.usyouthsoccer.org, including live streams of all 14 finals.